I am joined now by Shoa Shao, and he is an award winner. I'm really excited to get some of your point of view. So how long have you been an SOT member and why did you get involved? So it has been 16 years since 2009 when I was a second year PhD student from Uni University of Georgia. And when I was a student there, I studied female reproductive health, especially early pregnancy. So we wonder whether environment can adversely affect this process. So that's how I get involved in about female reproductive toxicology and SOT. So being involved with SOT all of these years, how does it feel to finally have your work recognized with the SOT Achievement Award? Oh, it's a great honor for me to receive this Achievement Award from SOT. So I treat this award not only for myself, but as a team success. I thank all my trainees, including postdoc and graduate students, they're hardworking, and I also thank the uh, funding support from NIH and NSF and the DOD, and I also thank my collaborator very much. Of course, I also treat this award not as a beginning, but as an encouragement of our continu continuous work in the next 10 or even 20 years. You've made some incredible advancements when it comes to female reproductive technology. Tell me a little bit about what drew you to this work. Sure. So when I was a graduate student from University of Georgia, I studied how environment, especially endocrine disrupting chemicals, will adversely impact the female early pregnancy. From that time, I feel very excited because women's reproductive health is understudied. So I really want to know why and how our environment will impact their health. So I, since then, I continue to work on this area since the past 16 years. That's fascinating. So what is next for you and your lab? Sure. Uh, in the next 5, 10, or even 20 years, we have two, ma two major focuses. At first, we, we would like to understand how and why our environment will impact female reproductive health so we can develop preventive and uh, therapeutic method to protect their reproductive health and fertility. Of course, we are also very interested in studying the mixture, how environmental mixture will adversely impact the women's health because that is a real world exposure scenario for, for us, including both male and female. Well, thank you for the important work that you're doing and thank you for joining us to tell us more about it today. Thank I you, Crystal. You. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching SOT TV 2025. You can take a look back at all of our content by clicking the link right here. We can't wait to see you in San Diego for SOT 2026.